Have you ever just taken some time and set it aside to just ponder the day that you uh, became born again and you just reflect on that, how you have grown spiritually since you became a new creation in Christ and then you become very thankful and grateful that you no longer um, have to go to hell, that you now have eternal life in heaven? Well, it was... Um, under these circumstances that I received this message, I was just so grateful for my salvation and I'm just praying and rejoicing and just looking back over my life, how the Lord has grown me spiritually and, um, and all of the wonderful things that he has done in my life. And in that atmosphere is how I receive this next message that I want to share with you. Holy Spirit said this, on the day you became born again by my spirit, a certificate was drawn up with your name on it, the date of your salvation, and your new father was also listed on this certificate. Yahweh is your new father. When you became born again, you exchanged Satan as your father for Yahweh as your father. I also placed a mark on you. This mark can be seen by all my angels as well as the demons. This spiritual mark sets you apart as my own. In the spiritual realm, there is no guessing who belongs to me, Yahweh, and who belongs to Satan. There will come a time when deception is so rampant that I will open up the eyes of my children uh, to see the mark on their fellow believers. Those who belong to Satan also have a mark on them. This mark is not to be confused with the mark of the beast that will be required to buy and sell in the last days. Those who receive that mark will be condemned to eternal hell. Tell my children not to take the mark of the beast. When you become born again, the mark of Satan is canceled and you receive my mark. Then he began to explain to me what his mark is that's placed upon us when we become born again. He said this, The mark is my glory. It's all the colors of the rainbow combined to make a pure, bright white light. Each of the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, are present when the fullness of my spirit is present. These seven colors combined to make a bright white light. Now, Neville Johnson um, has some awesome teachings on this. Um, so if you get an opportunity to Google him, um, you'll be really blessed by Neville's uh, teachings. He says that the seven spirits of Yahweh are represented in the seven colors of the rainbow, which also confirms what Holy Spirit just gave me. So Neville says that red represents the spirit of the Lord, Orange is the spirit of wisdom. Yellow is the spirit of understanding. Green is the spirit of counsel. Blue is the spirit of might. Indigo is the spirit of knowledge. And violet is the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And we find those seven spirits in Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. So when you combine these spirits that represent the, or the, when you combine these colors that represent the seven spirits of Yahweh, you get a bright white light, which is the fullness of Yahweh's spirit. And that's the mark that we receive at the new birth. Holy Spirit continued um, about um, this mark. He said, the mark of those who belong to Satan is the absence of color, which is darkness. The enemy operates at night in the co cover of darkness. And, you know, when the Lord uh, revealed that to me, my heart was really drawn to start praying for um, marriages uh, where couples are unequally yoked, where um, maybe the husband is a believer and the wife is an unbeliever, or the wife is a, a believer and the husband is an unbeliever. And um, when couples are unequally yoked, there's a lot of spiritual friction that goes on in that household. And so I began praying for uh, couples that are unequally yoked because I uh, truly understand um, what goes on in the spiritual realm when there is light and darkness in the same household. 
And as I was praying for uh, these marriages, uh, this is what Holy Spirit revealed to me and how he instructed me to tell you, if you are unequally yoked, how to pray for your unsaved spouse. He said, you need to pray this way. In the name of Yeshua, I command the darkness to leave my spouse. I release the light of Yeshua into my spouse. I declare that my spouse belongs to Yeshua and I have the authority to make this declaration because Yahweh sees us as one. And then he said this, declare this prayer over your spouse until they are no longer in darkness. When you begin to pray this way, there will be a spiritual battle. I want you to know this so that you do not back down from praying. The spiritual battle may become so intense that your spouse may leave the household. It is the darkness in them that will drive your spouse out. He said, keep praying for your spouse even if they leave. Continue to pray because my mercy is being poured out now to save and redeem marriages of unequally yoked couples. So you see, it's really important to continue to pray because according to what Holy Spirit said, right now there is um, his mercy being poured out for these couples that have um uh, a spouse that is unsaved. So you really want to begin to start praying for your unsaved spouse. Holy Spirit also continued when he said this, when a person becomes born again by my spirit, they exchange the mark of darkness for the mark of light. He said, I am the light of the world. I am Yeshua. There is no other name by which a man can have the miracle birth. Call upon my name, Yeshua, while there is still yet time. Come out of the darkness and into my glorious light. John 8.12 says this, Then Yeshua spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Philippians 2.14 and 15 says this, do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of Yahweh without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation um, among whom you shine as lights in the world. You see, Holy Spirit explained to me what happens to our hearts in the spiritual realm when we receive this miracle birthmark of Yahweh. He said this, all the sin of darkness is completely removed from your heart. I flood your heart with my glorious light and love. Spiritually, you receive a new heart. This new heart gives you a desire to love and obey Yahweh's commands. This new heart abhors all sin. This new heart desires to please Yahweh and Yeshua. This new heart battles the soul's old ways. This new heart is assured that you have eternal life in heaven. This new heart wants to worship, praise, and glorify Yahweh and Yeshua. This new heart wants to share with others about your miracle birth of a new heart. This new heart becomes one with Yeshua and one with Yahweh. This new heart is an incorruptible heart destined to be forever with Yahweh. Don't you want this new heart? Don't you want this miracle birth of Yahweh?